Hey y'all, so I am, I'm just so tired and I'm really trying to like move on and like be a better person, but Tressa has been calling me a bunch of times and she's not taking the hint that I just like don't really want to talk to her. I tried to talk to her back when I had been drinking a few weeks back. I was really going off the rails and like, we were talking, but like I wasn't really in the best place and I don't remember a lot of what we talked about. A lot of it was like on vo uh, video call, voice call, whatever. So I don't know, maybe I was like saying some shit that I didn't mean. I don't think so though. But basically I haven't talked to her since like I'm just trying to get my shit together and like move on with my life and she's been calling me a lot. So I was thinking that I would call her on camera not to be like an asshole but just because I I don't know what she's gonna say I don't know what's gonna happen and I'm trying to move on past like drama and everything but I just feel like if she says something that's like screwed up I just I it makes me feel comfortable to have like a record of things because like some things have happened in my life that you guys have seen or like things that I talk about and people don't believe me or like they spin it and like make me the bad guy or something and I just really don't want that like I might not even post this like it's just for my own like peace of mind and part of me is like I shouldn't respond to this like that I can't deny that like you know I miss her just like as a friend um and So yeah, I have a few missed calls from her and she just sent me a message and she's like, it was one thing for you to publicly shame me for something and not allow me to explain myself at all when it was really wasn't a big deal, but I know you know I'm actually worried about you right now. Fuck everything that happened, I don't care. I just want to hear it from you that you're okay and then I'll go. So fine, I will call her just to like have closure and end this and if it gets ugly, at least I have proof. Here we go, I don't know why I feel so nervous. I haven't really had a discussion with her in a while, like, sober, so this should be interesting. Okay. Hello. Hi. Um, yeah, what? <sighs> Thanks for calling me back finally, I guess. I'm just, I mean, I'm fucking worried about you, okay? I'm telling you that, and like, I get that you don't want to talk to me, but it also kind of sucks, like, you have no idea what actually happened, and it kind of hurts, because we were supposed to, like, be so close, and you don't even want to know why I divided. I mean, I know that you went behind my back, and you talked to someone who, at the time, had, like, I wasn't on good terms with, and, like, it was pretty clear that I didn't want you to be talking to him, and I'm just really tired of feeling like... I just can't trust most people and I'm just tired of like getting hurt and having the same shit happen over and over again. I understand that and as I told you before if you would have given me the time of day I could have explained why I did what I did. Like I understand that you're hurt and everything but like there's a very reasonable explanation for why I did what I did. Why you went behind my back and talked to my ex that I made it pretty clear I didn't want you talking to at the time. Okay. No, I didn't. No, I did not. I don't know. That's, that's not true. I don't yeah. know what. You told me yourself that you did. So either you were lying then or you are lying now. I'll come say something. I was drunk and... Okay, so who really broke the trust then? Like... I was honestly like... <sighs> I've been going through a lot. I really, like, I fucked up, like, I, fine, yeah, I fucked him. And I'm sorry, I, I don't know what you want me to say. Like, I fucked up, I fuck up, that's what I do. I fuck everything up. And I was going through a really bad time and I was just, I was drinking a lot. And I don't know. I'm not, I'm not even mad. Like, I, I know you were going through a hard time. That's literally why I reached out to him in the first place. You reached out to him because what? Because you thought I was fucking him? No. Oh my god. Okay. Like, if 
are you gonna let me talk about yelling at me this time? Like, I'll tell you exactly. I'm not yelling. And I have screenshots and I can prove it. Like, do you remember that night that you called me and you were alone and you were talking about, like, you were fucking drunk out of your mind, so you probably don't remember, but you called me drunk out of your mind, crying about how you didn't want to live anymore and, like, you didn't know anyone in Sweden and you wanted to kill yourself. And I was really, really concerned that you were actually going to do it because you were talking about the ways that you would do it. So that night, yeah, I'm sorry, I did go behind your back, but if I told you I was going to call Robin, like, you'd be upset, but I did call him, because, think about it, like, who else do I know in Sweden? Like, if I think something's wrong, like, I know you'd rather me call Robin than have a welfare check on you. Like, that's how it started, I just, I was genuinely concerned, I fucking love you, I don't want anything bad to happen to you, it's like, it would take me 15 hours to get there, and by that time, like, what? I don't want to walk in on you dead, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just wanted to know that you're okay, and he's the only one I know that could go check on you. So, I'm sorry that I did that, but I mean, at the same time, like, he's been my friend longer than you, and, like, of course I'm on your side, and he treated you wrong, but, like, if you can have sex with him, like, why is it so bad that I would be his friend? Like, of course I'm pissed at him for, like, all the things he's done to you, but, like, you're not innocent in the situation either yeah of course I'm always on your side but you have to see where I'm coming from like yeah no I um I do and I'm just I'm sorry I've you don't have to be sorry like you I mean I understand like I at first I was pissed like you didn't even come to me and talk to me about any of it. You just made a video and made me look like a fucking idiot on the internet. Like, you know, I don't fuck with the internet stuff anyways. And you made me look so stupid. And, like, I did something so terrible. But, like, I just wanted to make sure you were okay. And, like, I sent him a message first. But because, like, it just didn't seem to go through, I sent him a friend request. He accepted it. And then I can send you. I have not deleted anything. You can log on to my Facebook. It was all, like, I'm worried about Bria... I think she's going to do something. You need to go over there, like... And no. Anyways, I... I'm... I understand. And I'm honestly, like... I'm really, really sorry. And, I mean, like... Robin and I are trying to work things out. But honestly... I fucked up. I really fucked up. And I didn't treat you fairly. And, like, I... I'm really sorry. Because, like, I lied. And... I'm telling you right now. Because, like, I don't want to, like be shady but like I am recording this because like I didn't know what was gonna happen like I didn't know like how the conversation was gonna go but like if it's a like I would like I would like to publish this because like I'm I did lie I lied to everybody like I said that I didn't have sex with him not that it's like their business but like I made you look bad and like I lied I I, I always talk about like I keep it on it and all that shit and then like I fucking lied so like right now yeah I just I'm sorry I wasn't gonna like I just did it for my own sake because like I didn't know what was gonna happen and like I just have trust issues and like all the shit that's happened to me and like everything I just like I just keep feeling like people keep fucking me over and I don't know who to trust or anything and I just the problem is I, I mean okay like first of all let me address that like I don't I don't give a shit like if you want to put it out there that you slept with him you know I would never call you out on that but like I know that you like to like put your whole life out there like I don't care and like I, I don't give a fuck about putting my side out there because I don't know any of these people, but, like, if you want to, it's fine. I don't, you can do what you want with it, basically. But I also want to address the fact that you keep bringing back up the subject that you keep getting fucked over, but, like, I have never once tried to hurt you, like, ever. And it feels like you just expect it from me. Like, when have I ever tried to hurt you? <laughs> like, I always, I just want what's best for you. I know. And I feel like you're one of the only people who hasn't hurt me, and, like, I feel like part of me just feels like maybe I just have to, like, I don't know, like, distance myself before, like, I get hurt, like... You, you can if you need to distance yourself from me, I understand that, but at the same time, it's really hard not to be concerned when I see you, like, I mean, because you're, like, a clown, you love the clown shit, like, why are you... I, I watched the video, I still understand why you feel the need to, like, give that up. I mean, I know you want to try to make it work with Robin for, like, the millionth time, and, like, obviously, you know, I care about you, I care about Robin, but I don't see it. Um, you know what I'm can I... I see it. Yeah, I mean, 
I'm just gonna I'm gonna stop because like I just I think we should just like have this conversation in private honestly so just like give me a second okay um I'm sorry for fucking lying. I don't know what else to say. I'm really sorry and I'm trying to improve. <laughs>